<laughs> Come here. Start You're leaning into me. Well, because I was trying to see the time. I don't have my glasses on. What? Lay down. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is this forever going to be the case? I just get so uncomfortable recording the beginning. It's valid. Okay, okay, here I go. Is it the wrong place? What's up YouTube? Sam and I are going to film our February 2022 recap today. Mm -hmm. It is the second to last day of February. We are really excited to film this video because we have big news. Sam, take it away. So, I have been trying to get into this internship for my career. That's pretty dope. It's a very highly sought after internship and I found out just a couple weeks ago that I got in. This last week was my first week there and it went really well and it's been a lot of fun. It's got so it. exciting. Yeah. I actually recorded Sam getting his oh, acceptance yeah. email. I'm just gonna play that right here, right now. Swipe up? No, babe, it's gonna... Oh. We don't have to swipe. Okay. It just... Just keep watching. It... <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. It's not gonna change the longer I wait. God damn it, me. Hey Sam, I hope you had a great weekend. Thank you again for taking the time to complete our design challenge and your patience here. I had the chance to review it and thought you had a solid solution and effectively communicated your decision thinking. In particular, you spoke thoughtfully about the customer's mindset here and demonstrated empathy towards them and created a quick and efficient way of capturing your feedback. I'm delighted to share that we've like to accept you to diverse study for an upcoming role and uh, I'm excited to introduce you to my co-founder Adam. He'll be reaching out soon with our next step. Congratulations once again. Yeah. to this internship and I am just so excited for him. This is such a big opportunity for him and his career. And honestly, Sam's story with regards to his career is kind of cool. You should talk a little bit about it. So I was homeschooled, didn't really get much of an education, didn't even graduate high school and didn't go to college, obviously. Didn't graduate high school, hard to do that. <laughs> I started working just some blue collar jobs right out of uh, high school. Just worked with a company that I actually really loved for a couple years, a little over five years I worked with them, great company. But it's just, I felt like it was a place that I couldn't really grow, couldn't really get to what we wanted as far as like our family and what we wanted to do with our lives. And so I started looking around for other possibilities. I considered going back to school and getting my GED and then trying to go to a four year university. I just didn't have a clear path to have a clear understanding of what I was going to do next, but I knew it wasn't where I was at. And one day I randomly met a, a friend of ours that, at the time he wasn't a friend, but I met him at a mutual friend of ours uh, bachelor party. And we just got talking and I mentioned that I was looking to change a career and I told him kind of what I was trying to think of doing. And he mentioned that he was in tech, that he worked as a UI designer. And he kind of explained a little bit of what it was to me. And I was like, oh, like that kind of sounds familiar to something I tried to do a little bit of when I was in high school I tried to learn how to code how to do like front-end development so I told him that and I was like yeah it's always interested me but I just haven't been able to get there like I've never been able to learn what I needed to learn for it not only that but I never went to school for any type of like computer science or whatever you know I had no idea what I didn't know and he just offered to teach me everything that he knew and he at the time was already a pretty successful designer. Now he's like 10 times a successful designer. He's an incredible designer, incredible person, but he took the time out of his very busy day, very busy work day to teach me for about a year and a half. Uh, I mean, he still does. Like if I have a question, I can send him a text and he'll answer. But for a while there, he would meet with me every week and he would teach me stuff. He'd give me challenges. He'd give me instruction. And he just helped me go from literally knowing nothing about where I'm at now and literally knowing nothing 
nothing about UI design to helping me get connections and build connections. He helped me get my very first uh, paid gig and he helped me get my second one as well. It really was just a huge blessing that didn't see coming, didn't yeah. expect it, couldn't have planned for it. Yeah, it was a huge God thing. This has literally been something where time after time it's been evident that it was something the Lord had for me. I worked hard towards it. Yeah, but... he did. He would wake up, like he was still working his blue collar job and Sam would wake up at like 3 a.m. and work on design and then come home from work after working on his hands and knees for like 12 hours and come home and work again until like 11 p.m. and he barely slept. He worked two jobs at once, so that he could transition out of it. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm really proud of him. Maybe we should explain what UI design is oh, for yeah. people watching this video that don't know what UI design is. So UI design stands for user interface design. So whenever you use any type of app, the way it looks, the way it feels, the way it operates, someone had to come up with that. Someone had to think through how it was gonna function and design it out and tell the design the engineers how to build it. And so that's what I do. Yeah, so it's a lot of thinking. It's a little bit more artistic than it is like like technical, uh, which is hard for me because I'm a little bit more technical than I am artistic, but I've been functioning well for, with it. I've been, yeah, so that's kind of what it is. Sam just has a really cool story coming from, you know, not graduating high school and that, like, I guess that typical thing that was taught to us growing up. And I know I mentioned that in my video of why I quit medicine. Sam just like, he didn't do the standard education that everybody he does like the four-year university or whatever and yeah he's worked super hard and this internship that he just got into a few weeks ago is like the best internship that you could get into as a UI designer so I'm really 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 proud of him this is like some of the best news mm -hmm. ever it really is. it's yeah. really it's been a really good month for yeah. Sam it's really exciting because for me right now I went from believing just like two years ago or three years ago where I was like, man, like I'm probably gonna like do this blue collar work for the rest of my life. And there's nothing wrong with blue collar work. I actually love it. It's a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy it. But I felt like I wanted to do something more because I felt like I was capable of doing something more. I just felt like I never got the chance to do it. So. Yeah, it's really awesome. Been a really good month. Yeah, it's been a really good month. So that is Sam's big announcement. Mm -hmm. And I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for you. Thank you. Our dog won't leave us alone right now. Start, come here. Like just. He's very come needy. He's like, Mom, just don't tell me. I, I will. Here. I'll jump up on your lap. Yeah, just come here, buddy. Th that's come here, the give hard me way. If you come, come this way, it might be a little easier. Okay. Well, here we start. Tell us about your February. <laughs> okay. There we go. That works. <laughs> That's better. He gets really upset when we watch the camera and he doesn't understand why we're talking in one direction for an extended period of time. He will like sometimes come up and nudge the little stand that we have the camera on. So, so yeah, if there's ever a moment where you're like, oh, that's weird. It really seems like they cut away from that really fast. It's because he probably knocked the camera over. Mm -hmm. I or think just... it's shaking right now just from what he did. Yeah. So anyways, how's your February been? My February has been really good it has it's been has really it? good okay. i have a big announcement too and i don't remember when i'm posting this video i don't remember where it is in my schedule but <laughs> for the past month i've been working on a website and i'm really excited about it this website has taken um a lot it's it, <laughs> sam's helped me a lot just because he is a ui designer but i've yeah i've really put a lot of thought and love into the content I'm gonna put on this website. Right now it's just like a blogging area and a lot of it's gonna link up with this YouTube channel. I really wanted to start a website, so I did. And it's been kind of surreal to start my own website. I'm like, who am I starting a website? <laughs> It's pretty cool though. It is really cool and I've got some really cool stuff planned for this website. So that's my big announcement and that's what I've been working on this past month is building a website. Maybe I should link it. I don't know if I can do that, but it is samlane.com with three E's and I'll just put it in the bio of this video or something. It's really cool and it, it does link a lot with this YouTube channel and things that I talk about in this YouTube channel, but that's my big announcement for February and something I've been working on and I'm just, I'm really excited. I have a lot of plans for this website and things that I'm gonna put out and I don't want to like spoil any of them so I'm not gonna say any of them <laughs> February was just like a really cool month for us in general we went to Austin this past month Sam and I have never been to Austin Sam's never been to Texas my best friend got married and it was a beautiful wedding and I turned 27 so I'm like an old fart right now no she's not I'm so old I'm older 27. than Sam she's three years till she's 30 and 30 is not even old 
I just feel I've had a lot of I'm gonna be honest because I really do want to be authentic on this channel. I've had a lot of I don't know how would you describe my emotional roller coaster in February? Quarter life crisis. <laughs> I just had a lot, I like turning 27 was really hard for me and I don't know why, it, it just felt like giving up medicine was totally the right move for me. But it is hard to like give up something that you worked eight years for. I think that I just like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm turning 27 and I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Like it was just like this total WTF moment. Like I was just like, uh, so my birthday was hard for me. Thank God the wedding and the birthday were the same exact day because it totally distracted me from all the thoughts I had. Anyways, it was just, yeah. I mean, this month has been really good for us. Obviously the internship, I've worked so hard on this website and I'm It's looking really it. cool. It's gonna be so much cooler than I think people actually understand. Like it's not just a website, it's like, it's legit. I think by the time I post this, I'm already gonna launch it. I don't know. I oh, honestly I don't know what video. Happened. So it might've already been launched, who knows? I might have launched it already. Either way, go check it out. Go well, check it out. Maybe I'll like add some <clears throat> photos of our trip. You just hit my nose. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I'll add some photos of our trip because it was a lot of fun it and fun. we had a we had a really good time. Now we're coming up on our second anniversary in March and two years. I think that's really all we've got for the February mm -hmm. recap. We have two big announcements for both of us, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Am I missing anything? Didn't we get Jet? In February, JJ was. Uh, oh uh, yeah, we, we gotcha day. In I am missing something. We celebrated Jet's gotcha day. We got Jet on February first of twenty twenty. We got our baby dog Jet. I'm gonna include some pictures of her because she's laying down right now, and I don't want to interrupt that. And she's so cute. But we got our firstborn, our little baby Jet. She's our first baby. And this is our current baby. Yeah, this is Stark, but we didn't get him. He's very much still baby. This month. There you oh, are! Did you hear your name? Mm. This is Jet, and we got her February 1st of 2020, about a month before we got married, which is not a good decision. Don't ever get a dog a month before you get married. She's just our little angel, and she we is. love her so much. So I'll include some really cute photos at the end of this video of her because we did celebrate you this month. Yes, we did. Stark is very upset. He is not the center of attention right now. Oh, she oh, thank loves you. you. Oh, thank you. She is our, Yay. Jet is our little, um, Yes, that's what I thought. Jet's too. our drama queen, if you can't tell by that yawn. Oh. And he is our psycho, psycho dog. So, yes, we did celebrate Jet this past month. That is a good point. <clears throat> and that's that. That's it for February. Thank you guys so much for watching this little recap. We will do another one. You got anything else to say? Swipe up. There's nothing. There, I don't even know why I, I asked. Going, but if you. I keep going, eventually, YouTube will be like, man, this guy's got a point. If I quit now, we'll never know. Swipe up. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do the hand thing. Swipe up. <laughs> yeah. Swipe up, YouTube. Love you guys. See you later. Bye, YouTube.